Chapter 25 today. O oh Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will give thanks to your name, for you have worked wonders. Plans formed long ago with perfect faithfulness. For you have made a city into a heap, a fortified city into a ruin. A palace of strangers is a city no more. It will never be rebuilt. In context, this is likely Babylon, Isaiah chapter 21, verse 9, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 37, and Revelation chapter 18 uh, support it as Babylon. Verse 3, therefore, a strong people will glorify you. Cities of ruthless nations will revere you. For you have been a defense for the helpless, a defense for the needy in his distress. Remember that. A refuge from the storm, a shade from the heat. For the breath of the ruthless is like a rainstorm against a wall. Like heat and drought, you subdue the uproar of aliens. Like heat by the shadow of a cloud, the song of the ruthless is silenced. The Lord of hosts will prepare a lavish banquet for all peoples on this mountain, a banquet of aged wine, choice pieces with marrow, and refined aged wine. And on this mountain, he will swallow up the covering which is over all peoples, even the veil which is stretched over all nations. He will swallow up death for all time, and the Lord God will wipe tears away from all faces. And he will remove the reproach of his people from all the earth, for the Lord has spoken. So if there has been any doubt by anyone that we're jumping back and forth from Isaiah's time to the end of time, uh, this makes it very evident. And it will be said in that day, Behold, this is our God for whom we have waited that he might save us. This is the Lord for whom we have waited. Let us rejoice and be glad in his salvation. For the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain, and Moab will be trodden down in his place as straw is trodden down in the water of a manure pile. Moab represents the rest of the nations who are against the Lord, and they will all be stepped on like a watery turd. <laughs> that's, that's what it says. Verse 11, and he will spread out his hands in the middle of it as a swimmer spreads out his hands to swim. But the Lord will lay low his pride together with the trickery of his hands. The unassailable fortifications of your walls he will bring down, lay low, and cast to the ground, even to the dust. So Moab, representing all of God's enemies, thought that the works of their hands would be their protection, but rather they would be totally destroyed to dust. People aren't going to get away with their wickedness, you guys. The old saying, you're going to get what's coming to you, is true. So we need to be praying for them, sharing the gospel with them, do anything we can to spare them from what's coming. All right. Today's hymn to reflect upon in prayer is Leaning on the Everlasting Arms by Alicia Hoffman and Anthony Showalter. The hymn is based upon the text of Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 27 that says, The eternal God is thy refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. What a fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arms. What a blessedness, what a peace is mine, leaning on the everlasting arms leaning, you know the rest. <laughs> oh, how sweet to walk in this pilgrim way, leaning on the everlasting arms. Oh, how bright the path grows from day to day, leaning on the everlasting arms. What have I to dread? What have I to fear? Leaning on the everlasting arms. I have blessed peace with my Lord so near, leaning on the everlasting arms. Dear Lord, we thank you that our eternities are dependent upon your amazing grace and not left into our own hands. Because if that were the case, we'd have no hope. Yet you are our blessed hope, and in you we surrender our lives. Lord, in this day, give us your overwhelming love, motivating us to do our part to help rescue lost souls from the wrath that is coming for them. Give us courage and boldness, combined with graciousness, to confess the Redeemer before lost men and women, our neighbors, co-workers, and acquaintances. May we willingly bear reproach. May we clearly communicate your love and faithfully walk in your steps. Fill us with divine wisdom from your word. Help us, Lord, to live in a way that presents you as all-glorious and draw sinners to you. We pray these things in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, guys. Hope you have a great day today. I appreciate you being here with me. Lord willing, you know where I'll be tomorrow. Let's keep it, keep, keep it, and keep it, keep it, keep it. <laughs> Let's keep on keeping on and fighting that fight. God bless you. Take care.